question appeared in uh, <clears throat> IES 2021 paper, question 1b. Distinguish between economies and diseconomies of scope. How can the degrees of economies of scope be determined? So economies of scope is a situation in which the two products, in case if they are produced together, the cost is going to be lower as compared to the situation where the two products are produced separately. That is what economies of scope is. Right? Please write the situation. the situation where the firm incurs a lower total cost producing two different products Right. Then, then the total cost that two firms would incur producing each good separately. producing each good separately, right? So what we are trying to say is this. So if the two products are produced simultaneously or together, this is the total cost. While if the two products are separate, are produced separately, then it is like this. So only first product is produced and not the second one. Or first one is not produced, only the second. Right? That is Q2. Now, if you're not producing anything, it is generally assumed that if you're not producing anything, generally speaking, this is zero. So I can also write like this. minus TC zero zero, right? So I can also like like this. So basically what I'm trying to say is this, that there is no, I mean, even if we have added this or subtracted this, there's no change in this expression, right? So if you look at it, then what do you, what do you understand? Earlier you were producing only Q1. Now you are also producing Q2. So the change in total cost by producing one more kind of good, that is lesser in case if you are just producing one good. That's an idea, right? So please write the increase in cost the increase in cost from starting to produce
one good alone. is larger than the additional cost of adding one more good to the firm's product line. So if you add one more good to the firm's product line, the increase in the cost is lesser, right? As compared to if you're just going to produce uh, only one good out here. So you were not producing any good here. You have added one good, right? So that change in cost is still larger than if you start producing both the goods together. Try to understand this. Here, you were not producing anything. Now you have started producing Q2. So that change in cost is more than when you were not producing Q2 and you have started producing Q2 also in, in addition to Q1, right? So this is the case of economies of scope. So economies of scope is occurring where the firm can gain efficiency from producing wider variety of goods, right? Wider variety of products. And these, this efficiency can lower the average cost. So please write this. Economies of scope occur When a firm can gain efficiency from producing a wider variety of products. So this can lower the average cost, right? And uh, of course, it can also increase the revenue because now you are producing, instead of just one product, you're producing two products. So it can increase the revenue by diversifying into the more products also. These efficiency gain. Can, in, can increase the revenue from being able to sell right in new and related markets. New related markets. At the same time, at the same time, it can involve lowering of the average cost. can decrease the average cost. So the idea is that this economies of scope is uh, somewhat related to economies of scale. So in economies of scale, also the thing is that if you produce more, your cost is going to decline. So, but there you are producing the same product and the cost is declining. Here you are diversifying into one more product line. 
just write this. It is similar to economies of scale. Where higher output leads to lower average cost. But economies of scope is not about producing the same product. It is about producing the, I mean, diversifying into the new products also. is not about producing the same good at lower average cost. But using its size and resources, its size means firm's size and resources. To produce similar or related products. And what are diseconomies of scope? So economies of scope is this. What are diseconomies of scope? Where it is better not to produce the goods jointly. It is better to produce the goods separately. So diseconomies of scope. Occur. When average cost of production is higher from joint production. of goods or services, then the average cost in case if they are going to be produced separately, then the average cost from previous independent production Of goods or services. Previous means earlier you were not uh, uh, producing together, now you are producing together. So when you have started producing together, and if you, if you have diseconomies of scope, it would mean that uh, your costs are going to increase with the joint production, not decrease. And then you have the degree of economies of scope. degrees of economies of scope. So the degree of economies of scope is given by DSC, your total cost 
if only first product is produced, total cost if only second product is produced, minus the total cost if both products are produced together upon the total cost if both the products are produced together, right? So diseconomies of, I'm mean, sorry, your this DSC, this is nothing but the, it is the uh, percentage cost saving that is going to occur when the goods are produced together. So this is the percentage cost saving that occurs when the goods are produced together. So when Q1, Q2 are produced together. So if cost saving is positive, it means that um, there is economies of scope. Right. So if uh, you have a positive cost savings, it means that there is an economies of scope. If it is equal to zero, there are no economies of scope. And if cost savings are negative, it means that if you produce together, your cost uh, saving is going to be negative. It means you're, you will experience an increase in cost. There will be diseconomies of scope. Right. So you can take up these points some points from this in order to get the answer for this question. Right, Vida? So this is what we have discussed. That is, so uh, distinguish between economies and diseconomies of scope. How can the degree of economies of scope be determined? Thank you.